Here we go. Today is vegetarian paella. Finally chopping one lovely red onion. Personally, I hate chopping onions, so I've got a gadget at home that does it for me. One day I'm gonna bring it and I'll use that instead. A bit finer than that. <sighs> Pretty strong this one, because it's really fresh. Oh, second half. If you hear me crying, you know that's what it is. Beautiful. Last bit in the dish. Take out that little hard bit. Please be careful when you're using the sharp knives. Before we chop them, we need to de-seed them. Let's get a spoon and scoop them, scoop the seeds out. Cut that bit in quarters because each pocket has, has seeds in them. Try to get ripe tomatoes, but not too ripe. Just, they need to look have a little bit of firmness to them. I'm actually going to change over to a smaller knife. Okay, bring it all in together. Just give it a quick run through with the big one. Into the bowl we go. Right, capsicum. Whoop. With the seeds for the capsicum, you can do the same as you did with the tomatoes. You can put them on paper towel, spray them, cover them over and leave them somewhere nice and they'll start to sprout and then you can plant the seeds. A lot of people don't mind the seeds in it. We can put this in with the tomato because the onions, tomatoes and capsicum are going to go into the pot all at the same time so it doesn't really matter. I mean even you could have put the tomatoes in with the onions. Just the, the parsley next and that's all for the pre-prep. I suppose you can add other veggies like grated carrot or something like that if you want. More veggies to get into the kids. I just love the colour of, of all these things. Makes it so bright. A holder, because that does go in later on. I'm going to light the stove first. Put the water in a medium pot along with the stock bring that to a boil. Actually what I might do is put it over onto that one and that can bring it to a boil while I start on this one here. Okay, so warm the pan up a tad. We're going to put in our, our oil. To this we're going to add the onion, tomato and capsicum, turmeric, garlic, paprika. Give that a good stir so that everything mixes in. Keep it moving so it doesn't catch on the bottom of the pan until the vegetables soften. This usually takes about five, six minutes to, for it to soften down. Especially if you've got a big pan like this, it doesn't take long. Mmm, smells delicious. As you can see it's starting to soften. Little bits of onion you can see is turning slightly translucent. You can see the stock mixture over there just starting to make a move to come to the boil. Keeping an eye on it. Now the veggie mix is about ready. Sprinkle your rice over the top and then mix it in so that it gets a good coating of all your the vegetable spices and juices. Stir it well and see when it's really totally covered. Vegetable stock and water is bubbling beautifully there. The rice is taking on the, the flavours. Okay, now we're going to turn that one off and stir the stock in. Be very, very careful as it is boiling. Gently stir all of it in, give it a good stir around. Now we bring this once again to the boil. Won't take long because that's where the beauty is that you've been using the, the boiling hot stock and the pan's pretty hot anyway. Okay, so beautifully bubble bubble toil and trouble. So we're going to turn the heat down. You see it's slowing down. So if we just keep that, a gentle simmer coming, coming along there. We simmer that now for about 20 minutes or until the rice is almost tender. Don't let it keep going too much further because you'll find that it will get all soggy and not so nice. With all rice dishes, you like to be able to taste the rice, bite into the rice. So we'll just leave it uncovered for about 20 minutes. So we're gonna check that out. 
put our timer on. Gentle simmer. A few moments later. Okay. Right, as you can see, this is nice and thick. So now we sprinkle our beans. In the recipe it says baby beans. Sliced beans is what we had. So sliced beans is where we're going. Just mix them in, give it a good stir. Now we need, once it's all mixed in nice, we need to cover it, simmer for about five minutes. Unfortunately, it's not a glass lid, so we can't see what's happening underneath. If you're lucky enough to have a glass lid that fits your pan, brilliant. So just leave that for about five minutes on a simmer until the rice is lovely and tender. And of course, the beans and peas are cooked. Here we go, lift the lid, give it a good stir. Yep, it's starting to catch on the bottom. Good thing we're on our last, so. In this pan, it would have been a little bit less on the time. Okay, so now sprinkle our olives in and parsley. Mix it around, there you are, and that's it. Beautiful vegetarian. You can put more olives in, you can put, like I said before, no carrot, any veggies that you like, okay. Turn the heat off and we shall dish up.